the app that turns your voice into words. You want to reply an email? Easy. The trial was amazing. How do I go about paying? You can be able to write some fancy text with emojis. Can you have dinner? To do some translation? Easy. I'm planning a trip to Spain. Brilliant. So let's get into the world of the voice heart key and see how you can transform your voice into words. Getting started can be done in four easy steps. All you need to do is visit the website voicehotkey.com, download the application, register the application with the valid email address, and then set up your hotkeys. Very straightforward and easy. So let's begin. Let's go to the voicehotkey.com. And once you do, just click download. Open where you download the app. Then you just install the app the way you would install any other application. So once it installs, a pop up menu will come up. Then it will ask you a few questions. So you need to actually give the keyboard permission so that you can be able to set up the hotkeys. So click yes. Then yeah, you can set it up to launch on startup so that makes it work easy when you just log in, it's there ready to go. First things first, you have to register a valid email address. So we'll go ahead and do that. And click submit to send Covered to your email address. All you need to do now is go to your email address. Look for the code. Then you just copy it. Paste it right there. Good. And you see, we're now ready to go. As you can see, once you register, you'll have this for options already right out of the box. So this is where you're going to set up your hotkeys so that things can actually work. Right control will be just for the first one, then the rest you're going to use the right alt key. Good. So we can now change them to right, right, right alt L and this one H. And we'll, we'll go through all the others and see how this actually works. So let's see, for instance, you, you want to reply a message. Your friend has just texted you, he's asking if you guys are still meeting up. So then you go to your WhatsApp, right control key, and then speak. To begin speaking, as you can see here, our option is that we hold the key, we speak, then release the key, stop speaking. You can decide that you don't want to do that, you can uncheck that. But for us, all through this, we're going to be using the hold so that when we want to speak, we have to hold the key, finish speaking, then release the key. But you can't decide to use it the way you want. You can now reply. I'll meet you there in one hour. It's going to be a late night. Bring your A game. Then you send the message. It's just that. Then you can also be able to do in other apps. Let's say you want to do a simple Google search. All you need to do is come to Google. Press your hot key. What's the latest action movie right now? from your search you're cooking you want to make some notes and let's say we're making pancakes and we, we want to jot down a few things so all you need to do is press the hot key making pancakes can be very dicey a lunch all you need is half a cup of flour three tablespoons sugar a pinch of salt one egg half a cup of water 
half a cup of milk, two tablespoons cooking oil, some vanilla essence for flavor, and a hot pan. And that's all you need. As you can see, it has actually captured everything you said word for word with great accuracy. So you can be doing a few things here, cooking, and you want to jot down a few notes without having to type. This makes your work so much easier. So now we're going to now focus on the other things that make this app really nice, the AI features. But before we get into that, we want to focus on how we can type lowercase or uppercase. So we'll first go on to lowercase. And the, the importance of the lowercase is that, for instance, you, you, you are saying some things and you pause, you stop. So you want to be able to continue and you don't want the next letter to be in capital, in uppercase. So this actually makes work so much easier. And you can see when we keep adding more here, more options, more hotkeys, you'll notice they'll be giving us more options to add. And remember for us, we'll always be using hold. So we come here and we want to say, start with lowercase. And since it's lowercase, we can say S for small. So write out S. So that has said the hotkey for the lowercase. And we can be able to make our statements here. So we can begin using a hotkey. We'll use the simple one that just writes text. And then later we'll use this so that we can be able to do a continuation in small letters. I'm going to the farmer's market to get some groceries. I think I'll get some melons, bananas. So it has captured what you've said. The first letter begins with capital, as is the default. And now we want to continue. If we just use the right control, it will start the next with capital letters. But we don't want that. We want to continue our statements. We want to add a few things that we want to get. So we we'll Use the hotkey for the small letters. Oranges and a few tomatoes and onions. As you can see, it's added the text, put a space there, and finished the sentence. So you, you can see how you can be able to use two hotkeys to achieve a simple text. So now the next one we want to do is uppercase, all caps. So this, we can use U for uppercase, Alt U, that's how we set the hold key. For us, we'll use hold, and we can see our statements. Alt U, when we use all caps, everything we say will be in capital letters. Good. You can do the same in WhatsApp. Let's say you want to reply to a friend. You've kept me waiting for over an hour, man. Where are you? Come. Send the message. So that's how you use all caps. Now, we now want to get into the juicy part of the voice hold key software using AI. We want to say a word and then it adds some emoji. So we'll come here and use the option voice to text and use AI. Under this, we'll have so many other op options. So come here, select add emoji. And since it's add emoji, we can set the hotkey as right alt E. So now when we come here and we say, so your sweetheart asks you how your day was, you can reply it in a very interesting way using the emoji function. Hey, beautiful. David and I were really craving some grilled steaks. So we called up Peter, since he's got an awesome grill at his place. We headed over and made some delicious steaks with burgers on the side. Uh, you can see what just happened. It has really made our 
pitch really awesome with some images based on certain keywords. I could see the beautiful power of using the emoji function. And we can be able to also improve our writing. So we can say some simple statements and the voice hotkey software will take it in, you know, add some flavor to it. So we come here, say voice to text and use AI. It's, then you go here and choose improve writing. Since it's improved writing I, so we can say the whole key is write out I. Then if you come here and say something like uh, I was really shocked. The other day I saw a bear hugging man. That was the most remarkable thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you can see how what we said has been spiced up a little bit and they've added some fancy words, which is quite nice. Great. So now we can be able to create custom prompts based on certain instructions. And then when we tap the hotkey, it actually achieves this. So we'll come to the AI tab here. We can see we've already set up what we need. The title is what you'll be able to see when you come to the customs here, which I'll show you in a minute. So this is our prompt. Your tone transformation emoji enhancement model. So you want to change the tone to something flirtatious, add appropriate emojis, and then return only the text with emojis. So we come here, choose voice to text and use AI. And now it will be under custom as you can see flirt and emoji that was the title that we said here so whatever title is said there is what you'll see and then we can set the whole key to since it's custom you can use right or c so now we can be able let's let's do this in whatsapp we want to invite sermon for dinner can we have some dinner later tonight As you can see, we just say we want to have some dinner and it took that, took it through a prompt and spiced it up a little bit, added an emoji, and then you can send the message. Now, another brilliant feature here is we can actually be able to convert our text to different languages. So come here, choose voice to text and use AI. And then under action, you can see under action, we have two options. Action is the one that has this other various AI actions we can do. But if you want to translate, you click action, translate, and then choose the language. So we'll scroll all the way down to Spanish. And set the whole key to translate T, Alt T, right? So, and of course, it that's what we'll be using you, you can decide to use what you want so you set the hot key based on something you can remember so that you can easily be able to do this on the go so you want to reply to our friend tell them something like uh, i'm planning a trip to spain i would like to know some of the famous tourist sites to visit can see we've said our speech in English and right here it's translated for us to Spanish direct and it works perfectly in other apps can be able to translate on the go then we can be able to copy text and have it done something so for instance we want to seem like a linguist so we have some quote in English and we want to paste it in a different language, for instance, Spanish, so that we appear like we actually can be multilingual. So we can easily do this. So what we're gonna do, we come here and use the copy text and use AI, right? Then come select the language, 
just burnish and give me the hard key. For instance, we can use a V, which is normally the shape of a paste, so you can easily now copy paste. So V. And now, since we no longer need the keyboard, we don't need to type anything. So we can actually use hotkey to speak and then translate. So let's use this port. Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, take another shirt. So we have a text. We didn't need to type anything. All we just needed to do was use the software. Then now we can be able to copy this and translate. So we have to first select what we want to copy and then use the hot key to be able to translate. And it's just taps once. There's no hold. Does everything once you just press the hot key. So we'll do that. Alt V. You can see it's taken out text in English, our port, translated it in Spanish. Now we can copy this and post it to our stories or wherever we want. Another option is we have the choice to use the mouse to activate a hotkey. So this is actually quite simple. So let's say here must make sure that you activate, you click this and turn screen. This has to turn green for it to work. So we'll just use the simple option here. So it only works with the right mouse click, doesn't work with the left. You can actually work with every other mouse click except the left. So we come here. Click that select that box and set the right mouse right click. And we're going to do hold. So that now when we come to red text, when we hold the right mouse button, it activates this and we can speak. I'm holding the right mouse button to use this program. can see that's how you easily are able to set up the mouse. One other thing is we can actually be able to convert audio files, right? You can have audio files and have them converted to text. So you come into your files, you don't need it. Then we select the audio file. So we have one here that we used to just talk about making popcorns. So we open it and once you do, you can see how fast that is. So listens, converts it on the go. And you have your text. So you can be able to actually be have different audio files and have them transcribed on the go. So that's how you use the voice hotkey software. These are the tabs here just to set up various settings. You can leave them in the default. And right here, when you started the app, you had this already set up. So just to show you how they work. So when you write Alt L, it will take what you said last, which was this statement, and be able to convert the last recording. If you want to show the history, write Alt H, and this will show you the history of every single thing that you've actually transcribed with the voice hotkey. Yes, and that's how you go about using this software.